Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll be going through how to install PC Linux OS. We'll first download it, then I'll explain how to flash it onto a disk, we'll boot that disk, and finally run through how to install it on an empty storage space of your choice. If you're new and stopping by to watch an install today, please take a moment to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for more videos. So I'm here on the PCLinuxOS.com website. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below. First, we're gonna go ahead and find an ISO to, to download. You can see that PC Linux OS just had a new release of an updated installation media. It says here that their rolling release has been recently updated here in November. What we'll do is hit the Get PC Linux OS, and then you have a few options here to get PC Linux OS. You have the KDE desktop, the Mate desktop, and the XFCE desktop. I'll go ahead and download the KDE desktop today. Either way, you can select whichever one you want. And here below, it gives you a little bit of a description about the PC Linux OS KD ISO and some features that it has as well as hardware requirements. But if you keep scrolling down, you can see that there's actually mirrors for their ISO images here. And I'm in the US, so I'll go ahead and select the USA. Next, we'll get a directory here in the mirror where we can select what type of architecture we have. And PC Linux OS is only available for 64 and 32-bit architectures. So here's a 64-bit architecture, and that's exactly what I need. Then you have a few options here. I'm not sure why they had you select which desktop you wanted, considering they're all in here anyway. So I wanted the KDE desktop, so you can see here that they have the PC Linux OS 64 for 64-bit, KDE for the KDE desktop environment, and this is a release that was released in November 2019, and as you can tell, here's the exact dates here on the right-hand side. So this is a 2-gig file. I'll go ahead and download this one. Simply click it and allow it to download. And then give this a few moments while it downloads and then we'll flash it onto a disk. Now that I've downloaded the ISO, I'm going to launch the Belena Etcher app. And use the Belena Etcher app in order to flash the image onto a USB or CD of my choice. Belena Etcher is an easy to use application that's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below if you want to download the application. You can also use any other application that can create a bootable disk, such as UNet Bootin. Let's first select an image, and that image is going to be the one that we just got done downloading. As you can see here, I have the PC Linux OS 64 KDE 5 2019 uh, in November release. Go ahead and open that up. And then we'll want to select a target, but I currently don't have a, anything in the computer, so give me a moment went ahead and put a USB in. So you can see it automatically got populated here. You can also change and select between multiple USB CDs or DVDs in here. You want to make sure you pick the one that has no data on it because that data will be erased as the flash happens. So make sure that you have an empty USB CD or DVD that you are using in order to flash the new image onto. Finally, go ahead and hit the flash button and let it begin flashing the USB. This will take a moment, and after you've flashed the disk, you'll take it over to the computer or server where you want to install PC Linux OS on, and then insert it. Then you'll have to boot into your BIOS in order to change the settings around and select the newly created bootable disk to boot first. This is usually done by finding the correct key to boot into your BIOS for your particular computer. It's usually one of the F keys like F2 or F10. Then, finding a tab usually called boot order, and exchanging the order so that the bootable disk is first to boot. After you have that set up, you will save and exit out of your BIOS and you should see a screen similar to this if you did everything correctly. If you went ahead and made it this far, please hit the like button, it really does help me out. Alright, and if you see this screen, you've successfully made it to the install portion. As you can see here, we have a few options to select from, including the live CD, which you can actually boot up and then install from there, or go down to the very bottom here and hit the Install PC Linux OS option, which is what we want. So go ahead and do that and let the kernel load here. Give it a few moments while it gets things ready for the installer. The first thing you're asked for is to select a keyboard layout. The US keyboard layout is fine for me, so I'm going to go ahead and hit next here. And next we're welcome 
to the uh, PC Linux OS installation wizard. Go ahead and hit next. Here you can see the contents of the currently selected disk drive. If you have more than one disk drive in your computer, you will have more in this drop down that you can select from. Also, a neat feature here is that it shows you what's currently on the disk drive. As you can see, mine is completely empty. And I suggest for you to have a hard drive or SSD that is completely empty for this installation or else it will overwrite everything that's on there, including any kind of data that you might have on there right now. So as you can tell, if it had any of these other ones, it'd show up in different colors. So if Windows was installed on this hard disk, it would show up in green and tell you how much. Anyways, we have two options here to use the free space or a custom partitioning scheme. I'm going to get, just select the use the free space here and hit next. Now it's warning you just like I did a moment ago that the partition you have selected will be formatted and all the data will be wiped on it. So again, make sure it's clean. And once you've confirmed that, go ahead and hit next. And then PC Linux OS will begin installing on your computer. So PC Linux OS was founded in the early 2000s and is an independent distribution that is intended for everyday desktop users or beginners. PC Linux OS also offers three different types of desktops including KDE Plasma, Mate, and XFCE. Users get to select a desktop environment that they enjoy so they can focus on their own enjoyable experience when it comes to using PC Linux OS. It tends to be a very user-centric Linux system, including an easy to use installer and easy to use environments. PC Linux OS follows a rolling release model, so it stays loaded with the latest packages available for its users. And this is a fairly good choice if, if you're a Linux beginner and want to venture out to something new. Once the installer has installed its packages and the base system, you'll get a question here on what type of bootloader you want to use. Grub is fine with, for me the uh, Grub2 with the graphical menu. And then it asks you on what boot device. So it just created a new one, dev SDA, on the hard disk that we had selected. And then you also get the option of how long you want the delay to be before booting into the operating system. So this is when the Grub menu shows up. Uh, 10 seconds is pretty long for me. I'm just gonna cut it in half to five seconds. And you can also select advanced if you want more advanced options for a bootloader. Go ahead and hit next. Here you'll see some default options that are pre-configured for you. You can leave that. And uh, you can select the probe foreign OS option as well. Uh, the default's fine here. You can also add more switches if you need to for the operating system to include. The defaults are fine for me, so I'm just going to hit finish here. Give it a few moments here while it installs the bootloader and at this point the installer is ready for you to restart your computer and start using pc linux os so let's go ahead and hit finish here and while rebooting you'll want to make sure to go ahead and remove any installation media that you may have so you don't boot back into the live image or the installer and you can see here it's okay to go ahead and remove the installation media, so the USB, CD, or DVD. And once you have done that, go ahead and press enter. And here's the bootloader booting into the PC Linux OS image. And you can see it's booting the system now. And here we're being asked a few more questions while we're booting into our newly installed system. What time zone you're currently in? Eastern's fine for me. Go ahead and hit next. And here you can select what time is best for you. The 556 is fine for me. You can also do automatic time synchronization using NTP if you choose to do so. But the standard time here is fine for me, the hardware clock being set to 556, so I'll hit next. And now you're asked to create a password for the root user. Go ahead and put a password in. I'm gonna put mine in real quick and hit next once you have that password in. And here on this screen, we get to create a new user. I'm gonna create a new user called Savvy Nick the same login name, so the username will be Savvy Nick. Put in a password and put in a, the password again to confirm it. And then hit next. Go ahead and log into your user here. You just simply put your password in and let things load up. And once you've logged into your user, you'll see the newly installed desktop for PC Linux OS, 
Congratulations! At this point you've installed PC Linux OS successfully onto your computer or server. So let's go ahead and take a quick look around. In the upper right hand corner you have a, a button which gives you a drop down and a few options here such as locking the screen, adding some widgets, and refreshing the desktop. You can access similar options if you just right click on the desktop but there are a few things here that this one doesn't have such as customizing the layout. Go ahead and hit the button again in order to get rid of it. And on the bottom right in the taskbar you have the time and date as well as volume control the current clipboard contents, some other devices here, as well as Bluetooth control and notifications. So on the left hand side you have access to just a couple favorites here which are your system settings for KDE, Dolphin their file manager, configuring your computer, and Synaptic the package manager. And on the far left you have a start menu where you can access subcategories of PC Linux OS and search for various applications or packages on this distribution. Well, I hope you enjoyed this installation tutorial of PC Linux OS, and if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos, and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.